you guys have been doing it wrong this entire time. Hey everybody, what's up? And in this video, I'm going to be telling you 10 ways to properly use your LEGO brick separator. Let's begin. Okay, so first up, we have removing a tile from a studded surface. And most people are gonna just want to go like this to get it. I know that's what people do. And if you go at it from the back side, it actually comes off much easier. And it's easy then to just take it right off. Removing a plate is just about the same thing. Except, instead of going like this or like this, you want to take the back end of it, place your brick separator down like so, and pull off like this. But what happens when you have two plates stacked together that no matter how much I try, I just can't seem to get them apart? Well, you bring them back onto your side of the surface, and that does essentially nothing. So what you do is you put them on the studded surface and you add another plate and you put it in front of it. So now you've got a bit of a stair method and you push on the back of this stud with pressure, so on the back of this, and off it goes. And then you take the rest off, just like I showed previously. A piece that you just can't pull out. Take the axle of your brick separator and just like that, pop the piece right on out. The same can be used for removing difficult axles. You can also use a brick separator for applying the cape onto a brand new minifigure. All you have to do is stick the minifigure's legs with torso on the brick separator. And that gives you plenty of free room to easily be able to put the cape onto the figure without worrying about it sliding around everywhere. And all you have to do is just put on the head and the mask. You have a bunch of one by one tiles that you just can't seem to get completely straight. Take the end of the brick separator like this and run it across them. This is going to keep them from going in line with the studs to be calm much straighter. Getting a stack of 1 by one plates to be straight is also a challenge. You can see here that they're not completely straight. So what you can do is you can run them across the ridges of the brick separator, just like this. Push down really hard along the edges, and just like that, perfectly straight. The separator can also be used when applying a sticker to a piece. Just Attach the sticker lightly to the end of the brick separator and line it up just like so onto your piece. And there you go. One last and kind of cool use for a brick separator is that you can use it to pose figures when you don't have enough space in your display. So you can use the brick separator to physically move them into their poses like so. And that's it. Thank you all so very much for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate it. I hope you found it helpful, informative, and hopefully you learned something from it. Thank you again for watching, and I will talk to you all again in my next video.